During my years in law enforcement for 26 years, uh, my expertise was locating illegal drugs that were concealed in motor vehicles. Locating these drugs necessitated us to dismantle certain parts of the vehicle. So therefore, you know, I'd be crawling in, inside the interiors of vehicles, removing seats, removing dashboards, and then uh, on the exterior, we would have to look up underneath fuel tanks and in the engine compartments, we'd pull different pieces apart. So uh, I noticed uh, that I was starting to feel some tweaks in my back and some numbness going down my leg about that time. So uh, through the course of that, I decided to go and, and seek some pain management. So I went through a series of epidurals and it did. It helped me out for uh, a considerable amount of time. Then uh, the pain progressed over the years. Uh, I retired from the job in 2006. We moved to Blairsville, Georgia to plant this church. In the process of planting the church, I was still doing some traveling for the government, doing some teaching across the world uh, in my former line of work. I remember traveling back from San Diego. I was doing a class in San Diego and had made the four-hour trek from San Diego to Atlanta and was in so much pain that I could barely get off, off of the plane. I remember having to ask an elderly lady to help me get my suitcase from the overhead. Very embarrassed to have had to done that, but I knew at that point that I could no longer live like this. He, he was just miserable from the moment. I mean, he, when he woke up, he was miserable and just couldn't get out of bed. It was just really rough on him to do the physical things that he was used to doing, he couldn't do anymore, and it was really rough on him. Plus with the traveling he was doing, it was, traveling was really hard on him. It finally came to a point where a friend of mine recommended through a surgery, a procedure that he had had done, uh, to go see Dr. Weaver. So we made an appointment, I took my most recent MRI to Dr. Weaver and shared with him that I had already met with another surgeon and that he was going to do these things to my back with uh, a cage and, and some screws and, and, and I was extremely nervous about that. And Dr. Weaver very kindly with my wife Susan and I sitting in his office as he looked at, our MRI, at my MRI, he said that no, I, I've got a procedure that is fairly new and I think it will work for you. And uh, I said, well, doctor, do you think you can fix it? He says, I know I can fix it. So we scheduled the surgery, and as they say, the rest is history. Uh, within two to three weeks, uh, I was able to do some things that I was not able to do prior to the surgery. I'm very thankful for this because, of course, uh, I now uh, am healthy, I'm vibrant in what I do, and uh, the only regret that I have, and I would share this with anyone, is why did I wait? You know, I did not have to live in this pain. I think Mr. Duncan was probably one of the first few people that, uh, you know, that was early on uh, that I had uh, used IFLEX on. And I mean, he had just a spectacular result from it. I mean, he, I, we did, I think, four foramen bilaterally uh, for him. And uh, I mean, he had almost a complete, I think, relief of his pain. I mean, it took very little pain medication, you know, that's not necessarily the case for everybody, but, uh, but again, I mean, he just had a spectacular result. When people go back to doing the things that they love to do and they want to do, I mean, that's the most, I think, you know, uh, that's the biggest, uh, you know, kick I get, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty confident that if we take the pressure off the nerve, pain's going to go away, and that's good, <laughs> you know, we like that, you know, they feel better, I feel better. One of the things that impressed me about Dr. Weaver, number one, was his bedside manner. Uh, he didn't come off as, uh, as a doctor with, uh, obviously, with an incredible education and an expertise. He came off as, as an ordinary person and talked to me. In fact, I, uh, I noticed, I, I forget what it was, I, I might have been a tattoo, and I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning this, um, but he reminded me of someone that rode a motorcycle. Well, I have a Harley, and uh, so that kind of broke the ice for me. I remember chatting a little bit about the motorcycle, and I thought, wow, if this guy rides a motorcycle, he can't be that bad. He's down to earth. And uh, he took us, took Susan and I back into his office or conference room and very simply explained uh, what I had and, and what was going wrong and what he could do. Now I'm able to go and do a good full workout. I don't have any pain. And uh, it's, it's an amazing thing to be able to do what I could do in my 20s. Obviously, not all the weight, but I can do what I did in my 20s and enjoy it. 
and get the relief that I need uh, as it relates to, again, the mental stress of, of what you face each and every day. It's nice to be able to go to the gym and, and just kind of blow off the steam, so to speak, and, and to lift the weights and, and just enjoy it. The before and after with my lovely wife, Susan, is great because, again, she dealt with, um, she knew that I was in pain. There was no question about that. But uh, Susan would tell you today that uh, she has a different husband, a different person, uh, no longer affected by pain. Marty definitely has his life back and we have it back to where we can enjoy things and go places that we couldn't do before because of the pain that he was in. And I, and I do, I try to encourage people to, why put it off when you know it's just going to get worse when you can get relief from this and take care of it and have your life back. And I think I thank God every day that you know, he's better and he's able to enjoy life the way that he wants to. I think that's the important part of it is you don't have to live in pain. There's opportunities and there are people that have the education and the expertise to be able to help you get through this, uh, to get through the pain and, and prayerfully to get through a procedure that will completely eliminate the pain. I know that I wasn't going to continue to live like this and that is again my faith and getting over the fear of having the surgery got me to where I'm at today, having had that procedure done. I look back now and think that I had wasted so many years in pain. So I would tell anybody, don't live in pain. You don't have to. Uh, you know, seek the, uh, the wisdom and the knowledge of those that have the expertise to be able to do what needs to be done to fix your back. If you got leg pain, arm pain, hand pain, uh, if you've got sciatica, I mean, it doesn't hurt to come and, and find out you know, what can be done. Uh, I would not you know, purport that I could fix every problem that somebody comes to me with, uh, you know, but we can do some tests and see what the problem is and see is there some kind of solution that would be acceptable to the patient. And that might be something simple like an epidural. It might just be change in the medications that you're on. Sometimes it's just a little time to let a problem heal itself. Um, you know, sometimes it's a big surgery, you know, uh, but, you know, there's lots of different ways to accomplish sometimes the same big surgery and, and going over all those, you know, pluses and minuses for that patient and their anatomy. It doesn't hurt to, to at least find out what's going on and what are the options.